Lovely triple twist. Well, she hasn't put a foot wrong so far. This the big D final tumble, just a tiny skip. Well, she has posted a 14.9 on floor here. The score to beat, 14.866. Gonna be close. Very close indeed, it was very clean. She's not the most graceful of gymnasts, but this is so impressive, Mitch, isn't it? One and a half tiers to walk out. This is impressive, and I think combination. Then she sticks a front somersault on the end. Fabulous. And this the double piked Arabian, the half turn in, and then the double front brings the feet down securely. Just the step. Probably point three, the step will be a deduction, but she was clean here. Feet were well round. She's gone into the lead with a score of 15. Six one for difficulty. Not many points lost for execution either. Sweet Lou was the golden girl on beam. Second highest in the qualification on floor. Up over into triple twist and the leap out. Very impressive style. She's carrying forward her elegance and presence from the beam onto floor. Two and a half twists into fall. She should be in home territory here in terms of dance and the gymnastic elements. Lovely. Four spins. One and a half twist into one and a half twist in each direction. I tell you, so far this is uh, beautiful to watch. Accurate. And attractively choreographed. Tumbling's gone well so far, but she can't afford to break concentration. Up goes the double pike and tiny little adjustment. Super to watch. Absolutely delightful once again. The China really are good now on beam and floor, aren't they? Beautiful to watch. Well, I've certainly enjoyed that the most of all the routines that we've seen. What a performance from the 19-year-old. At least three of the gymnast elements come from the dance section. She's got this wonderful quadruple spin, which scores highly, and then another double spin with the leg held up. So she's probably not got such difficult tumbling as some of the gymnasts, but more difficulty in the dance elements. She's gone into the lead, 15.066. Well, that gold medal would go nicely with the one that she just won on beam, but can she hang on to it? So, Great Britain's Beth Tweddle going for her sixth world medal. Can she do it? Well, she knows not only has she got to be faultless, but she's got to present it outstandingly. The one and a half, the walk out into the strong double Arabian, just a little step. See the determination on her face. The big, big, strong double piked Arabian and a little jump out.
Very nicely done with the leaps. Holds the leg up well for the spin. Saves this very difficult tumbling series for the end. Big round off flip, big two and a half twist, lovely full twisting front oh. somersault, super landing, super challenge. What a way to end your world championships. Her only final. She needs a score over 14.866. It's a big ask. <laughs> Did not hold back, and these tumbles, when she does, they're so impressive. Into the double tuck. There's a little pace that she takes to bring it under control. Double pike, pulling hard. It's a long way round from the Arabian approach. Nicely anticipated the landing made the leap and almost went out of area but she did so well to keep it under control i thought she did a grand job and look at this for a finish superb beth's in six with 14.5 well, that could well be the last score that she ever receives at a World Championships. So, Afanseva for Russia. The third replacement. And what a superb double straight somersault. Always interesting on floor. Two whips into triple twist. Huge difficulty. Very nicely through the spin with attitude. The important leap series. She's very clean. One of the most difficult spins. Well, ambitious choreography. She's selling the routine well. She's had very clean landings. Powers up into this last one, very secure as well. This is a beautiful floor routine to finish the women's competition at this championship. Well, this floor final has been a story of replacements. I thought she grasped the opportunity with both hands, just as she did to get that double pike round. Very nicely done. Presentation-wise, projection-wise, Well, it was a case of saving the best to last. A fan of Saber was shocked when she saw the scoreboard. 15.133. The reserve takes the lead. Well, there's confirmation that the reserve takes gold. A fan of Saber. And it was a story of execution over difficulty. Beth Tweddle finishes 15.133.